this is me and today I have a cleaning video for you guys because I know you guys absolutely love them. I find them so satisfying to watch back and edit um, because I have a photo shoot with Pony Magazine which I'll probably vlog as well. Um, the day before I always find it kind of has to be a cleaning day because everywhere does have to look in top tip condition because um, they're going to be taking photos. Mickey, that was a little bit rude, snorting in the corner. Sorry, he's having some haylage, so you can't really see his head. You can just kind of see his slightly dirty bottom. I think this boy will actually need to clean as well because he gets his tail so dirty. And if we are taking some photos with him, it's just not, it's not going to look good. Um, so I thought, thought today I would um, like harrow the school, make that look all nice and flat, um, clean the stables because although I did paint them this spring and give them a whole makeover, the horses have of course got them a little dirty. So here you can see is Mickey's sort of scratching spot. He likes to scratch on here. So there's a lot of dust, grime um and everything on there too because obviously we painted it and it was looking so good but um i also need to clean out the wash bay which is an absolute disgrace at the moment um might have to clean off all the mats and things as well um i had a little accident in there that i will um have to show you guys in a bit but actually i think the wash bay probably would be the best place to start because if i've got to wash the horses off later it'd be quite nice to have a nice organized and tidy wash bay rather than the sort of organized chaos that i have at the moment all right guys welcome to the wash bay if you've been following my stable renovation series you'll know that um, we finished it not too long ago there's just a few added things that we need to put in such as electrics um, so we can have hot water and things but um, it is looking a little bit of a state the floor is absolutely covered in mud where I picked out Casper's hooves the other day which I haven't swept up also I don't know how but the mats have moved so there's like this little line where all the mud and things has got in there's a lot of Joey's mane because I thinned it out the other day so that's kind of a little bit grimy on the floor um also i might need to do a little bit of dusting because it gets so dusty in here because one the other day joey was absolutely covered in mud and when i say covered i mean there was little soil on his back um so when i, I started grooming off in him in here and then i was like no i'm gonna have to do it outside because it was just too dusty so there's a bit of dust on some of my like spray bottles and things and there's a bit of dust here so i might need to give that a bit of a clean my grooming kits probably need a bit of a clean i might need to wash my brush brushes later as well and then we have the worst bit here so this is the mess corner um i had a it was actually this here so this is leg and body whitener so this is kind of like chalky stuff that you can put on your horse if they have a stain to try and cover it up which i sometimes use on casper but down here on the floor i had it up on the shelf and joey decided that he'd um he'd have a little explore in the wash bay and he um, knocked it onto the ground it's just exploded there's chalk everywhere uh, so that looks horrible i also have um some products that i need to put away that's just kind of on the floor i have a bit of pipe i don't know why this is here but it's here so the wash bay definitely needs a little bit of a tidy <laughs> I deleted all the pictures of you I had on my Instagram You can't see it in my dreams, I hold you close just like I wish I can Alright, I have now swept the mats and the next thing I'm going to do is wash them Try and get rid of the, some of the mud so it actually looks somewhat clean in here The mats have also somehow moved so I'm going to try and pull them back into place And hopefully they don't move back again It's late at night, I know you're gone to sweep away some of the water when I had a little look at it and it's literally just covered in Casper, Joey and Mickey's like hair and mane and tail so I'm gonna have to sort of pick this off before I do it also I've given the mats a bit of a pre-rinse I don't know if I might put a little bit of shampoo on the ground I don't want to make it slippery and don't want to use too much um just to sort of try and get some of the mud up but it's looking so much better already but um yeah time to give the mats a little bit of a little bit of a clean and get rid of whatever this is <laughs> Together I can just remember you and 
flipping channels, but my mind is watching slideshows of our memories. It's late at night, I know you're gone, and I can't sleep because you moved on. I wish we'd try, because maybe you'd be here tonight. Alright, it is looking so much better in here now. However, the bottles and lotions and potions behind me are a little bit dusty, so I think I might need to take them all down give them a wipe over and put them all back. So this task might take a little while. and the wash bay is now complete with the uh, spring cleaning process or summer cleaning, I guess it is now. I have had so many questions also about the paint that we use in the wash bay. So many people being like, oh my gosh, Esme, like the water in the wash bay is gonna wash off all the paint. Guys, I'm not that stupid, it's okay. We have um, the paint that we're using is designed to be on outdoor furniture, outdoor buildings. So it has lasted really well, it's still going strong. So don't worry, it's not gonna be washed off. Um, so I'm really happy with how it's looking clean wise. But the next thing I think I need to do is the tack room because it is an absolute stage. Hello Joey. So if everybody would like to look at the cute horse rather than the monstrosity that is behind me because the tack room is it's not good guys. I haven't tidied it in a while because I've been so busy and kind of like it's like the rush of riding the horses, just putting stuff away. It's organised chaos but um for example, I have a whole box here of boot bags, so I'm hopefully going to put all of my boots in boot bags, so that should help me feel a bit more organised and tidy. But um, I have a few saddle pads that need to be put away, my tack needs cleaning. It's a lot, so um, yeah, I better get started. <laughs> yes, are you tired? Are you yawning? Are you bored of me talking and not giving you treats? Yeah? Head scratches? Yes, you're so cute. You're so cute. I wish I could cuddle you all day instead of do cleaning. Yes. Okay. Okay, I better get cleaning then. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> now um, but I thought I'd clean my boots next obviously I do have quite a big collection of boots normally people have four different boots but thanks to Ariat for being an amazing sponsor I um, thought I do have a reason why I have four though they're all different styles so this one these are my winter ones so they're insulated they're waterproof a lifesaver that time of year I have my vortexes these are really sporty I like to use these for like hacking cross country that kind of thing then I have my like uh, <laughs> my nitro maxes which are kind of like my everyday schooling boots and then I have my palisades which are kind of like my competition fancy boots so I am going to just use some water and a sponge um, and just because they're a little dusty give them a bit of a wipe over dry them off and then put them in their new boot bags <laughs> Things are moving fast, heading west on I-10, leaving Arizona. No. Care.
catch, never looking back But I think that I can see where I'm going Suitcase living miles away I haven't showered in days Focus and no time to waste No enough to know if there's a chance that I'm I've just finished polishing the boots and they're looking sparkling clean now. I actually have some new boot bags that I was talking about earlier and I thought I'd show them to you because they are just so adorable. Um, so we have this green pair, which is the competition ready print. So these are all from High Equestrian who have very kindly given them to me um, as I'm a sponsored rider for them. And then um, we have this one that has rainbows on. So I think I'm going to put my vortexes in here just because they do have a little bit of rainbow on the side here. Um, this one with carriage horses that I think I'm going to use as my everyday because the background is grey. And then I have this one with pheasants on, which I'm going to think I'm going to put my winter boots in because look how cute the little pheasant guy is. But um, yeah, this might take me a little while to put them in all the bags, but they're going to look so cute after. <laughs> up i love the patterns they are just so fun uh, so i think the next thing i need to do is put them all the way back into my tack room <laughs> all right everybody the tack room is now finally clean i've also given my tack a little bit of a spruce up as well hello joey you interested um so i'm also really excited because um next month hopefully we will be um, doing the next part of the um, stable renovation series with the new tack room next door or the big room if you haven't seen that video i'll leave a little i card to it but i think the next thing i need to do now is the van because we're actually taking some photos doing some loading bits and bobs and it's looking a little bit of a state on the inside so i think i might need to use the pressure washer for this one all right so it's now the moment of truth to see how disgusting it is in the back of here because i haven't looked in here in a little while so it'll be interesting to see <laughs> oh okay i'll take this out there's a lot of old haylage no poo though so that's good i mean there's poo debris it, it could be worse but it's not great so this is the problem of having a big horse guys they poo very high up so this is where joey likes to poo all the way up here and there's a lot of a lot of splatter marks back here so it is pretty disgusting um so it definitely needs a good bit of a, a pressure washer i think but first i'm gonna have to use this brush and try and brush off what i can <laughs> dusty haylage on the ground and uh, Joey's poo. 
up the side of the wall. Um, but no, I'm very happy. So I think I will see you guys tomorrow for the next half of the vlog because I don't think I have enough time to harrow the school this evening. So I think the plan is to wake up really early, do that and try and get my three grey horses not looking dirty. <laughs> After a 5am start, I found that Mickey, Casper and Joey were all absolutely filthy, so all three of them had to have a big bath. Looking right through me last night, I told you how I'm hurting. Fade away with all your friends. I don't want to play pretend. Call me tonight, oh, who cares, I'm just broken. such a good boy I decided to give him some treats and we also did his stretches that are recommended by our physio to do for Joey um, so we do lots of ones going down and to the side and um, as you can see by his licky tongue he was absolutely loving it after that I did give his head a little bit more of a wash because that is one place that he doesn't like getting wet too much but he was a very good boy again carried on with a few more stretches to distract him then after that it was time to put him in his stable and get ready for Team Pony. Once Team Pony arrived we started by doing a few little finishing touches on cleaning Casper because for some reason his legs were still a little bit wet so I added some chalk to them, we brushed it off. I also added some black hoof polish which I've never actually used before but it looked so good on Casper especially as he kind of has two white hooves and two black hooves um, but here he is looking so white, oh my goodness this is the cleanest my grey has ever looked. Then it was time to get some photos of me putting brushing boots on Casper and of course I had to go for a little bit of matchy matchy so I went for ice blue. We also had Lucy as our photographer today and we also had Holly doing some filming for Team Pony. Mickey for some reason decided to have a huge scratch on the door while we were taking photos. You can also see the sort of pile of boots that we had um, ready for taking photos of. Um, it was also quite difficult because we had to make sure that Casper was standing sort of still and square. We also had Meg and Louise from Pony Magazine who very kindly helped out as well on the photo shoot. So once we got the brushing boots done it was then time to move on to tendon boots and luckily in the end Casper was a really good boy and stood really still. Unfortunately I can't say the same for Mickey because he did give Lucy a little bit of a lick attack. Sorry Lucy. We also took some photos of me with my tack and checking it over especially for things like lumps and bumps. <laughs> of course on the photo shoots we also have lots of laughs as well so after doing the saddle pictures it was then time for the bridal pictures where I was checking stitching checking the bit we then took some photos with Casper again where I was checking the saddle fit on him however a little problem occurred where Casper kept wanting to look at our video camera rather than the photo camera so I had to gently keep pushing his head out of the way if not you couldn't see what I was doing in the photo but we got this shot in the end and he was a very good boy apart from here when he decided to pull some funny faces while we were getting photos but we did get the photo in the end and he was a very good boy so next it was time to go on to Mickey which he was a little bit of the difficult child today when it came to this set of photos because I had to stand there holding the halage nets and he had to look happy now if you know Mickey you know he can get a little bit hangry sometimes when it comes to food and he gets very excited so here he was just 
jumping up and down in his stable, his ears were going all over the place. And I was like, Mickey, can you please just be calm for five seconds while we can get a photo? So uh, we had to do this quite a few times until he didn't find it the most exciting thing on the planet. However, after many, many attempts, we did get that one photo. <laughs> When Casper realised that all the photos Mickey were doing involved food, I'm not gonna lie, he did get a little bit jealous. Look how far back those ears are. But anyway, Mickey's next photos were to do with apple bobbing. And as we've done so many food battles before, Mickey is an apple bobbing champion. He loves it so much. And I honestly cannot believe how slobbery he gets when he has apples. It always makes me laugh so much. So we got lots of different angles of him apple bobbing. So you could see the actual apples in the bucket. And then it was time for Mickey to get some swinger photos. Honestly, whenever the horses use the Silvermore swingers, it makes me laugh so much because the little faces that they pull. Poor Joey and Casper were getting a little bit jealous by now, seeing how much food Mickey was getting with his photos. But don't worry, I did make sure that the other boys got some treats as well. Next, it was time to get some photos with the battle ball and it was time to release the Mickey. I'm not gonna lie, the battle ball isn't Mickey's strongest point. He, he's very good at rolling the ball and he's very good at getting the food out but he doesn't actually eat the food I think he doesn't really realize that the food comes out of the hole at the bottom so what he ends up doing is actually just licking the hole at the top and um, he did manage to get some food in the end once I pointed it out to him which was nice after that it was then time to get some photos with Joey and we we're doing all about vet checks so me listening to his heart I also then had to find where his pulse was and had a little feel of that and Joey was such a good boy at standing still and looking at the camera however the next photo wasn't quite as pretty I like I, I'm waiting for the voiceover on this bit as could you bring yes we had to do a photo of me pretending to take Joey's temperature which did include his butt but don't worry we made sure that um, his modesty was kept for the photos <laughs> Meg was keeping us all organised with the shot list and ticking things off once we got the photo. Then it was time to do hoof care, so me picking out Joey's hooves, me looking at his shoes. And then, once again, it was Mickey's time to shine. However, for these next couple of photos were for something very special and currently top secret that I can't really tell you guys about. But all I can tell you is that Mickey had to look absolutely spotless because this was a very important photo. And in the end he looked immaculate oh gee oh yeah it is is that ours no oh no, ours would not be that clean this no, is that's this is mickey's that... old one <laughs> the difference well loved it's well loved it is well loved it's actually used for the top secret Mickey photo, I decided to take him to the orchard because I thought the background would be really pretty, however it was a tiny bit overgrown. Um, so for the photo I actually had Mickey on a lunge line, this is because I wasn't supposed to be in the photo so I could quickly run away and then in the end shot we'll photoshop out the lunge line so it'll be like I was never there. We also had Holly with the treat jar to try and get Mickey's ears forward and to get him looking in sort of the camera's direction I had to remove some grass from Mickey's mouth because that wasn't quite the look we were going for for this photo but in the end I think we did get quite a few nice ones we also decided to change location to the donkeys summer field they currently weren't in for this photo because if not that would just be way too chaotic but I think the grass in the end was just a little bit too long for the photos we did get a few nice ones but it does look like Mickey doesn't have any legs and he's sort of floating but look how cute his little face is he was loving the photos and of course he just loved going to the treat jar <laughs> After lunch, we then took some photos with Joey at the arena hire. It was supposed to be Joey and Casper, but for some reason, I don't know how, Casper decided to take one of his shoes off. Now, he was shod 
two days before the photo shoot so this wouldn't happen. I honestly don't know what it is if the horse is no or something like that but every time we have a pony mag photo shoot one of them either decides to pull off a shoe or has a loose shoe the day before, the night before or the day of so it was inevitable guys. I don't know what else I could have done but Joey really stepped up to the plate. He was such a good boy and he actually ended up doing all of the ridden photos. He jumped really nicely. He did everything we asked. But yeah, I am just so proud of Joey, guys. We also had Meg who very kindly picked up Joey's poo um, so it wouldn't be in the background of the other photos. We also did lots of different exercises that I've never done with Joey before and he was just such a good boy. So before today's video ends, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Lucy, the photographer, and the whole of Team Pony for all of the help on the photo shoot. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video so if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!